this isn't actually the highlight of the car. Does it have something to do with this? Is this where the secret sauce is? Back to this verse that by the way we got import we got domestic we're throwing it down you left absolutely nothing for me to say to the cars what's up bud what's up how, you how are doing? you what do you got this is my uh ultimate street car that i built its purpose was actually just to have a car that i can drive to and from the track it's nice. actually become something that's a little bit more unbearable on the street <laughs> <laughs> well you got an intercooler we know these come with a 2j you still got a 2j in it no so this one i swapped it out with a 171 crown 1jz gt can we pop this in Jay? yeah 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 why did you go to a 1j instead of turboing the na 2j personally i think 1j sound a lot better than 2j's um, stock to stock, That's unless right. you got like a thousand horsepower. Stock turbo? Yeah, stock turbo, but it's powered by G4 Plus. Nice. It's got a full standalone, but the standalone is cool because it lets me integrate and retain all my factory functions like AC, no crazy Christmas street lights. Car. Yeah, it's a street it just car. just looks good in there. It looks great. Also, if you guys don't know, this is Ken Gucci. He's a professional drift <laughs> driver. He's the OG Gucci gang. Overdose of sauce. Fantastic driver. Normally driving a really high horsepower car. I actually have no goal with this car. I just wanted to do some fun stuff and uh, it became what it is today, but this isn't actually the highlight of the car. Does it have something to do with this right here? Come Street here. car, huh? Is that a Samsonis? That is a Samsonis. It's a six speed sequential that came out of my GR Supra. So this one was just laying around. And, and the reason why I had this just in here around. in the first place was because the factory W55 decided to say bye to second gear. So another cool part about this car is if I turn the steering wheel a little bit, you can kind of see it from the inside of the wheel well. Hit yeah. us with that angle, yeah. geez. So how loud is it It's just at cruising speed on the highway with that sequential? It's actually not as bad right now, but when I first put it on with no insulation, solid bushings, I thought I was going deaf. I think I, ha I heard ringing for three days. As far as cosmetics go, I wanted it to look, you know, like a badass street car. So I have, you know, wide body panels, a big Country Labs fuselage wing. The rear suspension is pretty much stock arms, just KW shocks, serial nine bushings. I had the intention of building it as a car that I can drive to and from a drifting van, but I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> drag race. I've actually never drag raced a single time in my life. It's okay, so. it's not a real drag race, so you're all yeah, good. Okay. Well, since it's a drag race, let's go and see who our competitor is. This episode is brought to you by HP Tuners. They make all sorts of data logging, tuning, scanning, and diagnostic tools. They also have a mobile app that you could do lap times, drag times, and all that other fun stuff. So make sure to go check out their Instagram or hit the web link below to learn more. Well, Zach, this looks like something you'd pick. Yeah, welcome <laughs> back. Oh, that's a familiar face or hat, I should say. Will Cochran, no, no machine gun. Please introduce yourself. Glenn Dietrich, and this is my 73, 81, 82 work truck. There is also a build bio on this truck. If you ever want to go check that out, you could probably like sprinkle in a link right here. This thing's pretty wild. Can we pop the hood and just kind of get straight to it and then we'll I work to I just want to go the right, under... in, right into it. Huh? Yeah. Do you really use this as a work truck? I no. do. I mean, I build these chassis for a living and I use it to go get the parts. <sighs> That's clean. Traditional small block, no LS here. 
Well, it does have a sniper Holly EFI on it now. Was this on there last time or so? Just don't worry about that. Get out of there. That's yeah. just for cooling. That, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, cooling yeah. purposes. Just, just cooling. And she's running a little lean. I had an issue running lean once. Smoked a valve. So just if it's running lean, I look down on my deal and just give it a little button of gas. What type of cubes we got in this thing? It's a 383 stroker, bow tie overdrive 700R that I just picked up. Put a 150 uh, shot on it this week per recommendations from Brian Scotto. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> the engine was uh, dynoed at 565. We're talking Zach crank horsepower there. Getting it to the tires through that 700R, and maybe four or less. You know what it weighs? 3,200 pounds. Ooh, we didn't ask you, what close. is your, did, did you ever dyno that thing? It dynoed at 280 wheel, but it does weigh a little more than 3,200 pounds. Mm. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's running 81 Cam uh, Camaro geometry, and my fabricated lower control arms. IMC stock car upper control arms, fully adjustable. Hey, let's come to the back and check this out. No, I want to look at this interior because oh, this looks interior? Uh, this looks pretty tight. Is this set up so you could put a roll cage in it easily? In the back, back here, I actually put a couple of six by nines for going down the road, and I pulled the plug and I just set those right over the post. Dang. Okay. The, <laughs> the nitrous bottle in here is this full of Mountain Dew. Is this where the secret sauce is? There might be a bottle in there. Oh, oh okay. Oh, How dick. many microfibers do you have in here? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's worried all about. All of them. All of them. He's got, all like, of them. He's got like $400 in microfibers. Like I said, I, I was running short on time, so oh, I couldn't fabricate a mount okay. to hold all it right. in. So, Ken, you want to borrow a few of these to wipe your car down? <laughs> yeah, can we hit pull-ups on this? Or is sure. It, is that, let's, how's the, how's the rigidity? Oh, oh, man, look at that. Push. Two more, five more. Well, you guys want to get to racing? Yeah, let's, let's do, it. do let's it. it. How do you guys want to run this? Normally, we got to run it from a dig from the jump from right. the first race. I just say we started at 1,000. What's that in meters? <laughs> like 400 meter, 800 meter. Uh, we know. look like we know math. Do we put money on it? Uh, this is drag racing, right? Whoever <laughs> loses, Dan gets to punch him in the gut. That's for my friend. I'd rather go $100 a pack. <laughs> <laughs> so you have an opportunity to win $200 or lose $100. I have $100. Yeah. Oh, sure. we got a bet right. going. All right. All right. 100 right. bucks. Here's what we're doing. Hand drop to a thousand foot mark. Heads up. Let's go. Predictions? Are you gonna ask the magic yeah. ball? You're ask the magic ball. <laughs> it can't actually say which car, so we'll just have to say, will the truck win? Stars say no. Ooh. Oh. The cats don't lie. I'm just gonna give it to the C10 just because you know what? I need to see a C10 beat a 1J powered car because uh, I got my ass drugged by one. I'm gonna stay on the drift side of things and say Ken's got it. I like the sequential. I think that's gonna be a big part. Look, as much as I respect the fact that we got the job site Lowe's drink canister in the back of this, I love sequentials. IS300 all day. Ken is probably a sick drag racer, but horsepower numbers and weight number, I think the pickup thing is gonna win. I love both cars but I have to go with a professional driver. I believe in Ken and driving skill. It's a tough one. I am wearing high-vis yellow today. I would be prone to root for the work truck, but this thing has a sequential. That thing has more power. I'm gonna go with the work truck. Win or lose, you still are the only one here with the sequential. $20,000 transmission, $20,000 car. Without the trans, it's like a $14,000 bill. I just love it. All right, race one, heads up, 1,000 foot mark. Round one. What do we got going on? Getting taken to school on reliability. Right. 
Toyota. It is a Toyota. <laughs> That's how Toyota always wins. Right. Yeah. So it keeps cutting out. I don't. You I didn't bring a, a timing light, so I don't know what the timing is. You guys think it's the MSD box? Is that what I think it's the MSD box. You think it's the MSD box? It's exactly what happened to the Buick. Meanwhile, Ken, take your hand out of your pocket, point it towards the car, and then shake it back and forth. No, no, like this. Bye, car. This is the last time you'll ever see it in working condition. What am I allowed to do? Manji. That's it. You just signed your life away. You guys both left early. You both jumped the line, which was so sick, because you both jumped it at the same time. Yeah, so run again? it was still a race. Yeah, we'll run again. All right, so both of these dudes actually went on Dan's hand raise, not the drop. We're gonna run it again, heads up. Just one, but two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, can't come out here making money. There, he got the cash. He stacked him up. Kid, go celebrate Woo! that newfound money with some donuts, baby. Go get him. <laughs> yeah. Assume the position. It's all, Assume the position. It's all.